Ibanez has built a headless, fretless bass. Let's check it out. Gregor here from Base the World, and today with Lars Lehmann playing this rather unique beauty, the Ibanez EHB 1005 F. The F stands for effing beautiful. Probably stands for fretless, but I mean, just look at this what a beauty in this awesome matte blue grayish finish. And if the light falls right, the fretboard has this awesome marble kind of look that almost matches the color of the body. <laughs> That was the neck pickup that gives you a nice amount of bass and low mids, and it's the place where most business will take place. I assume. The EHB models are headless bases, that means they're beautifully balanced at the strap, but of course that also means that the tuners are integrated down here at the bridge. And now let's find out if this machine can sing. <laughs> If a fretless sings or not depends very much on the string action. You want the gap between the neck and the strings to be rather small. If that's not really your concern and you're rather after a solid sound with a great tone definition, you would raise the action a little bit higher. In between the clips we actually change the height a little bit to show you both in this video. And now let's see what we actually got here. The body is American basswood. The bolter neck is made from five pieces of roasted maple and walnut, and the whole thing is reinforced by graphite rods. The fretboard is interesting. It's made from a material called Witchlight, which is a blend of resin and paper. You can already see some marks from the round one strings the base ships with, so it's not indestructible, but it should hold out a lot longer than rosewood or ebony that are often used on fretless bases. <laughs> The headstock or what's left of it holds these little metal tubes that are there to lock the string ends in place. The bridge on the other end is a brilliant design by Ibanez with an 18mm string spacing. The saddles allow a little wiggle room of 1.5mm each, which means you can have the string spacing a bit wider or narrower if you like. The pickups are the BH2 Sopa humbuckers from Bartolini and the electronic is the Ibanez very mid 3 band EQ. We have controls for volume, pickup balance, basses, mids, mid frequency and highs. The little toggle switch here puts the bass in a passive mode, offering a classic passive tone control. Let's hear that. Sound-wise, this bass is ready to handle all kinds of situations. Make it sing in your jazz solo or make it people punch in the guts uh, with your technical metal band. It's all in here. But the coolest part about these EHB basses is of course their ergonomic design. It has the slanted back which makes this bass feel incredibly slim, but even better is the shape of the neck. It plays like an absolute dream. The only thing I don't really like is the locking jack. I should be happy because it's Neutrik and these are the best, but I personally rather accidentally rip the cable out of my base than ripping it apart or even worse, my amp from my cabinet. But that might just be me. But to make me happy again, Ivan ships these bases with this little finger ramp that you can stick in between the pickups, so all the Gary Willis's amongst you will be satisfied as well. <laughs> What a 
cool bass. Not as cool as this crazy seven string Ashula you've seen in the back of this video, but that is that is for another time, another Ivan this video very soon. So yeah, if you like fretless and if you like modern comfy basses, definitely check this one out. And that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Please leave a like and see you again in a few days with another bass video here on Bass the World. Bye bye. Bass the World.